think that's uh, no doubt it's sort of like the old uh, Brat Pack back together again, although we got Shane on board. It's uh, for Jamie and I, obviously the car behind me has a lot of uh, memories of obviously when we had it on the supercar, but it's, uh, you know, look, it's great to see it in chrome. It's great to see the old colors back and uh, you know, looking forward to getting back up there because it's going to be obviously a driver lineup. I've driven with Jamie. Um, I drove with obviously Shane last year and, uh, and you know, really for me, it was, uh, um, I suppose business hasn't been done. So we really, obviously the three of us, we'd like to uh, obviously be on that top step again. It's the first race back um, out of retirement. <laughs> it's almost like the Johnny Farnham tour, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be nice. Obviously the three of us, um, very well um, compatible. It's something that's, uh, you know, we know the circuit very well. Roland's been working really hard to try and make that a uh, reality. And it's something that's, uh, you know, in supercar world, you can't do that. But of course in GT world, it's something that uh, is a possibility. And, uh, you know, to have all three of us in the one car is obviously very strong. We, we saw the, the closing stages uh, for me a couple of years ago when I was driving with Shane, I uh, was sorry, with Jamie and Shane was chasing him down. So, um, you know, the three of us are very, very competitive. As I said, we know the track very well. And, uh, and of course the car, we just got to get ahead of, well, for me to get my head around it, but uh, I'm sure that'll come pretty quickly. Yeah, the, the Bathurst 12 hours just been growing and growing each year and uh, it's a fantastic event. One I've uh, had a heap of fun at the last couple of years, but uh, this year it's stepped up another level. So to team up with Scotty Taylor again and then uh, combine that with Triple Eight Race Engineering uh, and then to have both my teammates in the car as well, uh, combine that with Vodafone on board, it's, uh, it's fantastic, really looking forward to, to next year's event. Lounsey and I and Team Vodafone, we, were, uh, we, we competed there for, for many years, so it's good to, good to bring it all back together, um, get, get the band back together, so to speak. Um, looking forward to team up with Lounsey again, and um, both years, uh, Shane's been sort of opposition, so um, it's good to, be, good to be in the same team and go all, all out of salt. And, um, it's challenging though, you know, we're not, we're not going up there thinking, or, you know, with too higher expectations where we're going up there, um, realizing that it's, there's a lot of work to be done and we've really got to make sure we bring our A game to, to compete against the best teams all over Europe. So we'll, um, we'll, we'll do the best we can. We'll prepare as well as we can and do what we do and go racing and try to get to that finish line before everyone else. Any race with any sort of uh, distance is difficult, you know, it makes it so much harder to win and so much easier to lose. Um, I've had a great run up there in the past, but as I always say, that doesn't guarantee anything this year. Uh, we need to make sure we, we uh, be on our way game. Um, all the elements are there for a, for a good show, but um, I'm just looking forward to, you know, bringing, bringing all that good from that the Triple the Eight has here in this country. Um, Scotty Taylor does a fantastic job and uh, combining all that, uh, all together, um, yeah, we're confident we can do a good job. It's amazing to team up with these guys and you know working alongside them at the race team in the V8s has been awesome, but getting to drive with them will be a um, pretty special moment for me. And actually, Craig and I raced unsuccessfully at the 12 hour this year, so it's really cool. Hopefully we can go back and redeem that. And then also I raced with Scott Taylor Motorsport in 2016, uh, 17, so it'd be great to um, redeem that too. Every year it gets bigger and bigger and, and more European teams and drivers come out and you know more Australian V8 guys jump in it too and it just seems to get tougher and tougher every year and, and the fans support that. So yeah, hopefully it's a bigger race again next year and we can put on a good show.